Hey, how are you this Monday? Um, I wanted to jump on here today and talk about um, Facebook friend request, Twitter friend request, Instagram, whoever, whatever social platform that you're playing on. Um, I want to talk about friend request and how to choose the people that you don't know to add to your friends. Um, now, if you don't have your follow button set up, I would highly suggest that first of all I didn't tell you who I was in case you've never followed me before my name is Angela Brooks and you can find me on AngelaBrook.com um, but if you don't have your follow up button set up go to your Facebook settings and underneath privacy you'll see the different options number one I highly suggest you open your page up to public because if you're trying to work a business the last thing you can do is work a business in the closet if nobody can find you then there's no way they can buy from you or get to know who you are hey Michael um, another thing is turn your follow button on because not everybody that finds your page number one wants to be your friend and number two not everybody needs to be in your friends list um, we only get 5,000 and when that maxes out, then they can only follow you, which is a good thing. I don't know how many followers, two or 3,000 is what I've got following me, I don't know. Um, but it's very beneficial when you go to events, when you go to, um, uh, when you're meeting new people, not, because if you have friends, they can see everything. They can see all your different out photo albums, everything. How do you pick? Because I don't know about you, but I have been getting lots and lots and lots of single, handsome men that are military. They're a loving father. They just got divorced, blah, blah, blah. They have no friends. They have no other post. And it's a spam. So I highly suggest before you hit the add button that you go to their profile. I look at every single profile that comes through. See if um, they have a picture. What is their photo of? This is Facebook, not flower book or kids book or picture book of something crazy. This is of your face and that's the only way that people can start identifying with you is to get to know you through Facebook. So um, make sure they have a picture. Make sure they have a photo of them. And if there's a picture of say three men, there's no way oh I know the strangeness Michael is just off the chart block <laughs> but the um, if there's three men in a photo and this one's wanting to friend you and you don't know them already well you don't know which one of those three men is asking okay check out the picture next thing how long has it been since they last posted has it been a week has it been a month have they never posted um, if they've posted within the last 24 hours and it's something that I would be interested in reading, then I may go ahead and add them. Then I will send them a message. Say, hey, thank you for the friend request. I noticed that we have blah, blah, blah in common. And I would just ask, you know, how did we get connected? Because I think it's curious when I go to events, sometimes they'll have a lot of people that are, um, that will reach out to you and friend like you've met them in the hall in the bathroom girls talk in the bathroom I know guys do too but um, and you don't remember their name and they'll find you on Facebook and it, I have categories that I put people in so that you know like if I've been to a certain event I have a list for each of those uh, I gotta see what this says hey Michelle thanks for your videos you're welcome you're welcome glad you watch um, another thing is what are they posting? Does it even resonate with you? If they are posting garbage and it is just stuff that is so random that you're like, ugh, I don't want to read that in my everyday business, don't add them. Just, just un don't bother. Delete. Another thing that I am very, very, did I say very, very? Yeah, very. Um, much approve of and I use is the unfollow button I've got people that are I'm friends with that I don't want to unfriend but I don't like to read all the garbage that they put on there sometimes but I like some of their stuff so there is an option that you can unfollow you can um, it's like unfollow for seven days 15 and 30 days or you can 
take a break. Some of them literally say, take a break from this person, which is hilarious. Um, there's some people that I take a break from because when it becomes political, when it becomes religious, when it becomes very highly opinionated, I don't want that energy in my feed. I'm very protective of my energy simply because it drains me. I am an empath and empaths absorbs other people's energy. So if I read something that's like, ah, I go ahead and unfollow them. I don't even bother. I don't have to ask, I don't have to tell that person. Facebook doesn't tell that person. It's just a power button that you have. And if you're not using it, you need to check it out. Um, this last, well, actually yesterday, I was at a, a large event, much larger than I expected, actually. It was um, a Young Living Beauty School where we talked about makeup. New to me, because I, I do makeup, but very minimal. Um, so I, I always wanted to go, but I didn't, I didn't know if it would benefit me or not. But the room was full of 500 women. I don't know if you've ever been in the room with 500 women or not. There's a lot of, lot of, lot of energy. And I've met quite a few of those ladies who came and found me on Facebook. If all they are posting is the company and flashing their products, eh, I really don't need that in my feed, but I don't mind if they follow me. Um, or I can friend request them and unfollow so that I don't see their stuff in my feed. Uh, we had a really good day. I met some really awesome people. But, uh, what does it say? You want to set it? You want to, yes, you want to be contagious for sure. <laughs> but when you go to these events and you meet people, you want to add them to your Facebook. You want to connect with people. But you have to be honest. You've got to monitor what you allow in your space because so many people feel like once they add them to Facebook, that they have to stay there forever. This is not a colleague at work where you can't get rid of them. You literally have full control of Facebook and you should use it to follow, unfollow, and connect with people. If you are not connecting with your people on Facebook, then you're going, this stuff doesn't work, and it does, but it's just simply because you're not working. If you are not commenting, liking, and following people, then Facebook's going, eh. I don't know what they're doing, so they they don't show any of your stuff, and therefore you get no interactions. Every single, single day, every single day, you should be interacting with at least five people. You should be liking, I like to use the love button, um, you need to be loving at least five posts. Talking, loving, connecting, I send at least five messages every single day. Now, because I went to a big event yesterday, and I have stayed off Facebook a lot today, I won't go down the feed and read people's stuff at all today. I will respond to my messages. I'll answer my emails. I am getting ready to write a new blog post about um, the beauty school that we was at and give my opinion. And um, one thing I did find is my favorite lipstick. That, you know, that, that color... Girls know what I'm talking about. You can't always find your favorite color, especially from a book. But they, they gave us one. And I love the color. But anyway, I, um, I'm going to write a blog post over on AngelaBrook.com about my day. But today, because I absorb so much energy uh, from the event yesterday that I'm not going to put myself on Facebook. I am going to be using a lot of oils today and ground myself from the energy. Um... But yeah, I am I control what I what I go and what I see because it's what goes into your brain. So, I uh, just thought I would share that with you and if you haven't seen me on Facebook today, that's why. And I am very mindful of um who I spend my time with and why. So, I hope that is something that you'll also use. If you like this, leave me a comment. Thank you for those that are posting. I'll read when I get my glasses on. Um if you're watching the re uh, replay, Hashtag replay. Share this with somebody that might be struggling with um, how to use Facebook friends. Because actually, you have a control button and I hope that you're using it. So, happy Monday to y'all. And I will see you over on AngelaBrook.com. Come read the blog post and hear my review on the event from yesterday. And I will see you tomorrow. See ya.